when is the last time you've created an either an annual plan or a quarterly plan? It's probably not many. Did you know that about 98% of people don't write down their goals? Many of us keep it in our head and we think that's good enough. And I wonder why two to 10% of the population are the most successful and the richest. Hi, I'm Joanna Vargas and welcome to my channel. Welcome to all my videos. And I'm a business and life coach and fitness trainer. And I have been coaching for over 25 years and I've been doing this process for over 10 years. And here are the three mistakes that I've discovered that people do when it comes to creating a plan. And here's the first one. The first one is not writing a plan at all, like just not doing it. And here's what I've discovered. Most of us do not want to write a plan down because we're afraid of being wrong. Since we were a young child, we were brought up to think that everything is about us being right and we can never be wrong. So all through life we're going through just trying to always be right and never feel like we failed or never feel like, you know, we got the wrong answer. And I'm here to tell you, if you make a plan and you're just at least one step forward, it's better than if you didn't write a plan. That's the first mistake I see people do is just not do it. Oh, I don't need that class. Oh, I don't need that workshop. Oh, I did that last time. Every single quarter, every single year, write another one, write another one. It is a map. I don't know anybody who gets in their car without their GPS to get somewhere. Who's going to get in their car and just go, I'm just going to drive and hopefully I get there. I have it in my head. I want to drive that way or I want to drive that way and I'm just going to hope that I get there. And that's what life comes down to sometimes. We don't write down a plan or a map. And it doesn't mean that you have to follow it to a T. It's just the guidance system that's going to help get you there. Here's the second mistake I see people do. Is believing that it has to be perfectly executed. I'm here to tell you. I've been doing this for over 10 years and I've never completed my plan completely. And I'm going to show you. Here is my 2021 plan. And I picked 10 targets. One big push goal themes and a word and other things of that nature but when it comes down to the targets and to the goals I've never hit every single one and but I've always gotten closer to that target and sometimes that target or that goal I will bring it over it's like rollover minutes remember those in cell phone days I will bring them over to the next plan to the next quarter or I ask myself do I really desire this target I might have written it down on January 1st and now I've discovered it's not that important to me anymore so then I get rid of it. So many times we think we want things but we're actually just putting them on our plan just because they sound sexy and it's actually something that we don't want. But look at it this way. I'd rather be one step closer to something that I've written down rather than zero steps closer to something that I had in my head. And here's the third mistake that I see people do. It is, oh, not placing it somewhere where they can see the plan. Many of my clients, they'll get to the workshop. I'm like, awesome. You're already one step ahead of most people. And then they'll write down everything and then go home and never put it somewhere. They're like, oh, I never put it up. I put it in a drawer somewhere. But let me tell you, you're probably still going to get closer to these, even though you're not looking at them because you've written them down. And imagine if you actually looked at them every day. So this is what I do. You can see I laminate mine. And I put this in my bathroom so that I can then write with it with black marker. And so that in my bathroom I can clean it easily. I brush my teeth every morning and I look at my plan. I look at it every day. I have a vision statement. I also look at that and I read it over and over again and most likely to get closer. And I want you to see, I have many ones out of 10, many twos. It doesn't actually mean that I'm hitting each one each month, but I'm actually closer than if I didn't write it down. Let's review the three mistakes. The first one is not writing anything at all, like just not doing it and keeping it all up here. Second thing is believing that it has to be executed perfectly. Let's say you write down 10 and you hit two, but the other eight, you're 10 steps closer. That's better than nothing, right? And the third thing is not putting it up so that you can see it. Imagine if you saw it every day for 90 days, where you would be, woo, 
the compound effect in that. You would be so much closer to your goals, your targets, the life that of your desire. Think of this plan as a map. Please don't get in a car without the GPS or directions. You're just going to drive and drive and drive and it's going to take you that much longer. You might find it, but it's probably going to take you longer than if you had the GPS right? Thank you so much for watching. I'm so incredibly grateful for each and every one of you. And remember, if you want different in your life, choose different. And if you're interested in taking my quarterly planning clap, clap, say that again, Joanna class, go to thegetupgirl.net forward slash planning. The link is also down in the bio. I would love to have you. And if not, you got three more tips today. Hope they really help you. And until next time, remember to get back up. Bye y'all.